Do you know that obesity is a worrying trend in our country? Hi, I'm Mr. Lim Shang Yi, General and Upper Gastrointestinal Surgeon. In terms of overweight, up to 40% of our population is overweight. For Asian who has a shorter height, overweight is defined with a BMI or body mass index of more than 27.5 or a waist circumference for a man of more than 90 cm or female more than 80 cm. Obesity have a higher chance to lead to chronic gastroesophageal disease and hence gastroesophageal cancer. Lifestyle modification of diets and encouraging physical exercises are important early steps in managing obesity. However, lifestyle modification alone have a higher incidence of weight regain. Besides lifestyle modification of diet and exercises, other therapies which are available for management of obesity are 1. Medical therapy with medications, examples of injectable, uh, medications to induce hormone changes and reduce weight. Number two, endoscopic placement of intragastric balloon like this, but don't try this at home. In intragastric balloon procedure, the balloon is placed inside the stomach so that we do not feel hungry. Medical therapy or endoscopic balloon require lifelong administration of the medication or placement of the balloon. We may have regained weight after the treatment stop or the balloon is removed. Besides lifestyle, diet modifications and exercises, the third option is metabolic and bariatric surgery. In metabolic and bariatric surgery, the stomach will be removed partially to make it smaller so that we will not eat more. In some metabolic and bariatric surgery, small bowels is used to bypass the stomach in order to induce hormonal response to regulate food absorption. However, this procedure does not mean a shortcut for weight loss. It requires patient's commitment for long-term follow-up. Metabolic and bariatric surgery has been shown to be safe and durable in maintaining weight loss and reducing metabolic associated morbidities like hypertension, high lipid, high sugar or diabetes in Hokkien, in the Mandarin also known as San Kao. In Asian context, our daily food consumptions are mostly carbohydrate based. We need to understand our meals and take everything in moderation. We emphasize on more protein diets, vegetables and fruits as a source of vitamins and minerals. With this, I believe and exercises, we can overcome obesity. Hi, I'm Mr. Lim Shangyi. If you like this education video, follow me to the next episode.